on sait voir. Set back up. Okay, it did reset me, but I gotta go drag the box again. So we'll go do that really quick. room to push and we're gonna pretty much push it all the way to the far back or almost all the way to the far back pull the switch or press the switch whatever kind of switch it is still not giving enough room <laughs> damn it bad at that yet again fixed camera angles tend to warp perception I suppose I don't even know what this is for because we could just theoretically take the elevator and leave but for all the completionists and for my brain at least I need to figure that out we're gonna push it even more then. Like right there. Should be able to move. Are you kidding me? Maybe I can push it on the way down. I am really hoping so. Or else I just look like a jackrabbit. Yes, we can. God damn, I would have edited that out if I had to push it again. If I had to push that one more time, I would have cried. You want to just push it so there's enough room. So you can actually push it down this way. Otherwise, you'll have to be like me and fucking go back and forth. didn't want to have to do but oh well a few extra minutes shit happens you climb on top of that climb on top of this and climb on top of this and there's another door it's locked doors marked fuck my life Fuck my life. Oh, there was no point. Well, maybe there was a point. I don't fuzzin' know. God damn it. Let's hit the elevator. Master key is required to open the emergency route. I don't think we need the emergency route right now. Let's push the button. Okay. And where do we find ourselves now? <laughs> These guys, hello. You know where that door goes? Oh my god, really? 
they did that much damage? Keyhole for the master key. Lovely, I love that. Let's go check on Ada. You go. Great. Fucking Ada. Ups and leaves whenever there's a chance. Is there something in their teeth, Leon? Could that be it? Anyway, we're not in the best of shape right now, honestly. Zombies that try to bite me. Again, the master keys needed for this? Fucking Christ. Well, we're gonna run around feeling a little icky for now. This, if you remember, leads to the power room. Again, no fuse. Well, let's head to the blue area. Doors open with a card key. But the east area, at least should have the room we're looking for. Little oh, Misty. Is a fade spray, are we gonna grab it? No. But we will grab the fuse case. Set the semiconductor in the fuse. And unscrew. And screw it back in where it's supposed to be. Looks like we used the last fuse. I hope they don't blow it. Danger. We are in Danger. But I'm not that stressed that I want to use a fade spray right now. Again, I want to see if I can get the ultimate S rank. I think it's S rank. That or A rank, whatever it is, I don't know. If we can get an S rank, I'd be happy, but I think you have to beat the game under four hours, so we're getting a little close. I'll be happy with an A. Okay, now, last time, I believe we went down the right hallway right away, but it would be stupid to do that, because we learned last time why it was stupid to do that, and I was pretty much, I added on a 10 minutes, which really sucked. So we have the power on, let's save state, and we'll add the shutter, or open the shutter. Now if you remember, the first person was able to activate this. It's on file. See, it's yellow, like last time. It's a B scenario door. 
wild, right? But, at the very least, it's there. Just wanted to point that out. The red pathway is actually where we want to go because there are two ways to go and the one way we're actually going to go first so we, again, don't have to come back until we need that fingerprint door pretty much. Saves us time. This one, locked from the inside. This door, not locked. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, but I guess I'm going to have to try. Whoa, hello. No, you guys were there. Now you're gone. Hello. I'll take the flamethrower. That is a weapon that's only useful for, like, literally one situation or two. Laboratory security manual. We will read this again. Um, the flamethrower is very useful against those plant boys. And pretty much clearing that little vent that's right behind us. And then other than that, I guess you could use it on the zombies if you really wanted to, but... I don't see the point. I don't see the point. Anti-BOW gas sprinkling completed. Ah, so Claire already sprinkled it. Therefore, we don't have to do it again. User registration. Guest. Password none. Valid for 24 hours. Keep that in mind. You take the lab card key. Here we go. Ah, it's already taken care of. Something tells me at the other end of this room, I'm not going to be very happy. No, I'm not. No. No, why did you reload? God damn it, Leon. I didn't realize I only one shotgun shell in there, or else I would have fucking. Oh. Well, we took one fucking snag. But. In return, we got so many shotgun shells. I think 14? Looking good. But literally, if we get hit one more time, we are dead. You unlocked it. And I save stated, so I don't get to deal with them again. Just in case, double save state. Mmm. Now, instead... Actually, no, we'll... Yeah, I was gonna say we could go get, go to the other room now, but I don't know why it would bother, honestly. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna not deal with that right now. But yes, take out the flamethrower. You will love it right now. Again, I don't have access to my save room or else I would be there right now. Dodge that shit. God damn it. Green Eyed Cat, hi. Welcome to chat. How you doing? To the flamethrower. Oh no, yeah. The uh, the grassy boys, or the viney boys, I should say, the planty boys. They're very not nice. I 
I don't know if I'm gonna be- <laughs> What the fuck? How did you do that? It's a save state and load state. It's wild. I'm doing okay. Leon's not looking so good, but I'm doing okay. I hope your day was swell. Feel free to drop a follow if you haven't already. Bye, Bo. Hang out, you know. Oh my god. Run away! <laughs> oh, god damn it! The one point where I have to save abuse is the point where there are two fucking annoying plants. God damn it! I love the old school Resident Evil 2 game. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for Nemesis, this would probably be my favorite. But I do plan on doing Nemesis eventually. Run. Oh man. I think it'd be better, honestly. It doesn't seem like a good idea, I know. But for my sanity... Oh, wait. Oh, God, hold on. I know the B.O.W. gas makes them stronger, but does that make them almost impermeable to bullets? That I don't remember. Um... <laughs> A rock in a hard place, man. If only we had the fucking master key. All my herbs are in a fucking secret stash, of course. Of course it's short range. Why wouldn't it be? No, god damn it. You know what? I think, I'm not for certain, but I think in the vaccine room, there might be an herb. But apparently I'm just destined to be absolutely obliterated by poison gas. Let me see if I can remember this correctly. Of course it's Leon B, so everything's switched up. I could be completely fucking wrong. Yeah, it's hard this game. Oh, you have no idea. I grew up with this as a kid. I was the one that snuck into his dad's stash to play these games. You use the lab card key. We're in a save state like a few times just because, uh, fuck. I'm not dealing with it. Oh my god. They're in here too. Ugh. Fucking Christ. Are, is there anywhere there, they aren't? Oh my god. Is there anywhere the plants aren't? That I could just like borrow an herb from. And I don't have the fucking thumbprint. Oh my god. I'm in a rock in a hard place currently. The master key, I believe, is different from the lab key, but I... I guess I can go back and look and see if there's anything I can grab. Those fucking liquors back there really did fuck me over. But I don't think I can grab it, right? Yeah, master key's needed. Back in the elevator area, I don't think there was an herb. Is there an herb on this side, maybe? I don't know. I'm literally clutching at fucking hair strings at this point. Yeah, I used to watch my dad play these games. My dad is a huge Resident Evil head. Unfortunately, he got to the point where he's a little... He's older now, right? And he, he's not into gaming as much as he used to. But, um... He never got to experience Resident Evil 7 or Resident Evil 8. I experienced Resident Evil 7. Um... To a degree. Obviously, I'm, I'm a fan of the more... Older classic games. That's honestly the truth. 
Um, he's lucky. I hate RE7 and 8. Really? Why do you hate them? I don't think I've ever met a hater of RE7 and 8. Maybe I can brute force my way through them. All I need is to be patient. I prefer the old ones. Outbreak file one and two. Ah. So you're just a fan of like the fixed camera kind of thing? Hang on, ads. Yeah, look at that. I outwitted the fucking plants. I forget what they're called. They have a technical name or something. All right. They're, oh, there's a dick here, but I can fucking sneak past him really quick and grab, grab both of these herbs. Eh. Mash the button. And use. Switch to the flamethrower. And just like that, he's dead. In fact, I'm gonna go take my vengeance on these two. Eight percent. Okay. Well, Resident Evil changed Resident Evil, and then they got worse after that. I'm a big fan of the action ones, although I do agree that they're not as good as um, the originals. The only one I would say that that's not true to is Resident Evil Six, is I don't really like it. Resident Evil Five was really good with friends. Resident Evil Four was really good horror-wise. I really got scared the first time I experienced Resident Evil Four, but you know. Resident Evil 7 and 8 just don't make any sense at all. I think it was like a soft reboot, honestly. I think that's what they were going for because a lot of people disliked Resident Evil 6. Even though, weirdly enough, it was the second highest selling. Weird. Isn't that weird how that works? Oh, great. Where are you, sir? Hello! Oh, yeah, we should be okay. There, right there. Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello. I'm gonna grab that herb because he fucking knifed me really quick. You should play Outbreak. You know, I've heard of Outbreak, but I've actually never experienced it. But I've seen like, it's kind of like this one, right? That's the one I'm thinking of. It's kind of like um, fixed camera angles and stuff like that. Oh geez, hold on. We'll mix the herbs and just use it and then we'll keep the one there actually. Uh, we gotta do more Modiskin, right? That oh, well. It's like this, but multiple characters to choose from. All normal people. Interesting. What console is it for again? It's for PS2. Yeah, okay. I'll definitely look through that. Because I've never experienced... It'd be nice to experience something new. A save box! Finally. Being grouping away. I'm gonna put you away as well because I don't think I need to worry about that I'm gonna put the magnum away god it's been a while since I saw a fucking save box I'm so happy right now now that I think about it I could have walked all the way back to the save box in oh no that was no I'm sorry that is incorrect I couldn't have never mind 
maggots. Use the lab card key. It is useless now. We discard it. Save state. I'm assuming Big Moth Boy is still here, right? No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he is. Hey, man. I'll leave him about his way. You know, I'm a mothophobe, but this guy doesn't bother me for some reason. We can operate the computer. I will. Accessing. Enter your username. So would you say that the uh, outbreaks are better or on par or what do you think about that? I'm genuinely curious. Registration complete. Guess registration is valid for 24 hours. All right. See, that moth ain't gonna hurt nobody. I think Outbreak is just amazing. I have them and played them. That's wild. All right, well, let's go back to the fingerprint door real quick. We're gonna do a little bit of a backtrack. I'm gonna try to get everything done in one fell swoop. Actually, while I'm up there, I can deal with the fucking plants in the bam room. So I am going to grab you again. RE2, 3, and Outbreak File 1 and 2 are all my favorites. So, um, would you say that RE1 is, like, at the bottom of those? I think RE1 deserves a lot of love because of the shitty acting. I think it's just iconic. Oh, I'm not gonna deal with you. Go fuck yourself. It's okay, though. It's only one of them. Only one of them and one of me. With the new PlayStation membership coming out, I'm hoping they remaster it because I can play them online. You mean like you add, they add them to the uh, emulation line or whatever? So you're a PlayStation person. Wild. I am a PS. I have a PS5 right there. I'm looking at it. I'm I, I'm hoping I can get my capture card soon. I'm trying to save up for it. Um, and I want to play Code Veronica on my uh, PS5 rather than emulating it. Oh, hello. You guys are just back. Yeah, I have a PS5. PS5, honestly, amazing console. I just prefer it over the fridge. My opinion. Oh, Veronica was hard. It definitely is. It definitely is. Let's go ahead and open this door. We're in a safe state, just in case something hairy happens. Ow. There we go. Let's push the switch. I didn't get poisoned, did I? Oh, fuck. Magnum bullets. But you'll find that other than that, this room is pretty much useless. Now I'm gonna have to worry about, I think I have a, a green, green, blue, so I should be okay, but fuck man, poison? Code Veronica probably was the OG amazing Resident Evil 4, though. I honestly... Asshole! Sorry. Um, Code Veronica was probably the good uh, Resident Evil 4. At least I heard from a lot of, like, classic Resident Evil people. Um, is that Code Veronica was their Resident Evil 4 because they didn't want actual Resident Evil 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are just shit. Like I said, I enjoyed 4 and 5. 5 especially with the co-op. I platinumed that game.